Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I just thought I would do a little unboxing video for you today since I enjoy watching them so much myself. Maybe it's the joy in finding somebody else spending the money instead of me. But in this case, I am the one that had to spend the money. This came from Amazon. Here, well I have to share, this is, this is pretty funny. This, this may not look like much to you, but these are drawstrings to put in some pajama bottoms that I bought for Christmas. And the plate, I bought them at Kohl's, and the only size that were available were like three extra large or something like that. So I thought for the $5 that I paid, who cares if they're super big? They'll have a drawstring. I can just pull it tight and we'll be good to go. It doesn't matter if I look kind of silly because I'm at home, nobody's gonna see me in them, right? Well, the, the pajamas came and wouldn't you know, no drawstring, it was elastic. I got this crazy idea that I would buy this kit that you could weave them through. I'm gonna have to cut a hole in them maybe remove the elastic but i thought i'd put in the drawstring and then i can just cinch it up and we'll be good to go the next thing in the package is a set of nutcrackers and the reason for the nutcrackers is this year I decided to have a nutcracker tree here i thought well if we're gonna have a nutcracker tree we need to have some cute nutcrackers. Sorry about the lighting there, the ring lights shining on it. Um, but we have nutcrackers, um, but I don't know, I can't remember how many we have. And if you're gonna have a themed tree, you need to follow through with that and have nutcrackers on the nutcracker tree. So just to be safe, I thought that I would attempt to add to our collection here. And oddly enough, a ceramic nutcracker came and it was kind of a bell shaped on the bottom. Well, part of the bell part broke. And so I was like, what are, what are we gonna do with that? It doesn't look great. And then I got this brilliant idea that it would be perfect to just shove it on the top of the tree and use it as a tree topper. So we're going to give that a try and see how that works out. You're going to have Christmas spirit. You've got to go all the way out. And so I decided to get these little light up necklaces. So I got a set of six of them from Amazon and they come in green and red and blue. So that takes care of the Amazon. But oh no, it doesn't. There's one more package from Amazon. And this one, it's kind of in a strange package considering what it is. I don't know. Kind of smells funny. I don't know if it's the bag, but we'll see. Again, this is one of those things that I got a really good deal on. And <laughs> you're seeing it at the same time that I am, so we'll find out if if it was really such a good deal or not. Um, so I got this wild idea that because we're so crazy at Christmas, and some of you may think, oh, 11 trees, big deal. It's a lot of work. And we're talking hours, days. Um, so when we start decorating early, people get upset. And I understand that, you know, you, what about Thanksgiving? Well, in our case, what about Halloween? Um, 
If you haven't already seen it, there is a Halloween video that I posted and it has some fall decor in it. We don't dismiss those holidays. We just celebrate them a little earlier so we can start decorating for Christmas early in time so that we can enjoy it. Plus, you go to all that work and effort you want to enjoy it for a decent amount of time. You don't want to spend all your energy on something that's going to be up for just a couple weeks. You want it to be worth all that effort. So that's why we're actually going to be starting our decorating the weekend before Halloween. And it's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to bring you guys with us on the journey never have we done that before and of course this is the first year where it's as big i mean this is this is going to be the most decorations that we've ever ever had um, so if you're interested in christmas and the chaos that we will be a part of to make that happen Click that subscribe button and tell your friends, you know, there's this nut who is on YouTube that is going to just go Christmas crazy. Well, yep, we're going to have a cocoa bar. It's going to be all decked out. Um, we're going to have, like I said, approximately 11 trees. There may be more, there may be less. Um, now I'm not talking little trees. I'm talking seven and a half foot trees. I'm, you know, rambling on, but back to the hall, I decided that if we're going to go all out, we're going to go all out. And so I thought we needed a new kitchen rug to put in front of the sink. And <laughs> so I found one super cheap on Amazon and I was a little nervous about what it might look like. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, so give me minute while I try to figure out how this is going to happen, but here is this giant rug. I think it's two feet by six feet. And one thing you're going to know, let's get real close to the camera here. One thing you're going to know is, is we're not the classy, fancy type decorators. We have some of that, but this is whatever feels good, looks good to us. So if you're expecting, you know, high class, it's not going to be here. This is going to be grown adults who act like kids paradise. We're going to have themes trees, yes, but we're also going to have just everything trees where we just put what we like on them. There are no rules in this house when it comes to decorating. You buy what you like, you do what you like with it, and then you go from there. Um, and it always works out for us. Now it may not work out for everybody, but that's what we choose to do. But anyway, this is not a bad rug. For the price that I paid, um, on Amazon, it was like $25 and there was a 40% off coupon for a 2x6 rug. Yeah, I'm gonna try it to see a better look at it in our Christmas videos that will be coming up. We're gonna have a whole series of videos um, from setting up the trees to decorating the trees, the hot cocoa bar, um, the other stuff that I have planned. I have this wild, I have a snowman tree. And so I thought, well, when you have a snowman tree, you need to have snowflakes. And so I have this crazy idea because we decorate every nook and cranny of every square foot of this place um, that we needed snowflakes. And what am I gonna do with the snowflakes? How am I gonna get them? to look like they're falling down from the ceiling without destroying the place. I have some ideas, but 
we'll see how it turns out. It could be a complete flop, but if it is, you'll be there to see it and you can laugh at me. It's okay. I can handle it. Um, but it'll be a source of entertainment if nothing else. So the last box that I have here is from LTD. And this is what I'm most excited about. Um, the, they also had a really good sale and I just couldn't pass it up. So you're gonna get to know that I have crazy ideas and this is one of them. Um, the bedroom is kind of a cozy cabin feel. Everything is red and black buffalo plaid and we're gonna have two trees. Yes, two in the bedroom. One seven and a half foot and one four foot tree in the bedroom. And to go along with the cozy cabiny feel, they had these gift bags at um, LTD and they're huge and they have the really nice buffalo plaid on the top and it's Sherpa. It's super soft and th they're supposed to be like gift bags, but they had monograms. So I got S for Sean and Sean is my better half for those of you that don't know. And they have, they had both S and they also had the M. And so I got one of each, but I had a crazy idea in mind that I would try to do something cool and cozy in the bedroom with these, not use them as a gift bag, of course, but these are really, really cool. They're much nicer than I expected them to be. And they're gonna go great in the theme of the bedroom with the whole cozy cabin. Like we have um, all kinds of um, woodland animals and other stuff to put on the tree. So we'll see. And actually I think this is another item that we're going to be putting on that tree. So let me know in the comments section what you guys like to do for Christmas. Do you do theme trees? Do you just do, a, you know, a family tree that has all kinds of sentimental ornaments on it, um, which I love. I think that's wonderful. Or do you just keep it simple? Do you put out a ceramic tree and that's it? And, and that's good enough for you? Um, you know, I love everybody's different kind of decor ideas for Christmas, even though it may not be something that I would do. Like I said, the, the very classy, like all silver or all gold themed homes that are all classy all the way through. I love that. It's just not me, but I can appreciate the effort and the thought process that goes into it. Um, so I just love Christmas, period. It doesn't matter what, you know, you do. It's, it's an individual thing. You may not want to do anything at all. And I respect that too. This is just some silver garland and I gotta say I'm a little disappointed in this but it's pretty but it's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be and I mean it was again I got like 30% off so not a bad deal it's not like I I I'm very upset about it. I'm gonna make it work, trust me, I'll make it work. I didn't know what I was gonna do with it anyway, so um, we'll see what happens with that, and I guess you'll just have to wait and see too, because I can't even tell you. Now, 
this. I don't even know what this is. I don't, I don't remember. This is like Christmas itself, opening up these things. Cute. This is a little Santa, or a snowman that has 2022 on it. And he's ceramic. And he's quite substantial. Last year, we bought a couple of these. I think one was a gnome and maybe a reindeer. I don't know, I can't remember, but this one has the 2022 on it. Super cute, very happy with that. And it was really a good deal too. These are so cute. Like I said, everything, this is supposed to be, the bedroom's supposed to be cozy and warm and you know, just a really, I think of a cabin with a fireplace and you're all curled up on the couch with a book or a nice glass of wine or hot cocoa or something like that. Um, Cause it's a bedroom, you need to be cozy in there, right? But I found these cute little trees that are made out of, I don't know, they're, they're soft, they're filled with like cotton or something. Um, but there's four different trees and they're little ornaments, super cute, super cozy, and they were such a good deal. Can't beat those. These are big. Um, and I dropped one. But these are metal, like little tags. And they're very nice size. I mean, they're, they're as big as my hand. But there's four different ones. I just thought that maybe they would kind of go with the, the feel of the cozy little Christmas. Kind of farmhousey cabin-y. Here's the fourth one that I dropped on the floor. These are super cute and they were such a great price. Hard to beat. I mean, it's hard to get an ornament um, at a decent price these days. The last thing I have, which could be very fun. Okay, I think we got it here. We made it. This is a little tiny book. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this, but it's a book of cocktail recipes for Christmas. And I love this for two reasons, really. One is it's a cocktail book. I mean, what's not to love about it? And two is it has vintagey, you know, little pictures and ornaments. It's very festive looking, but it has all these different recipes. Um, there's a drink called Humbug, Ronnie Man. When you're sick of the sweets, show everyone at Christmas you're a grown ass adult by downing this ultra bitter brew that'll sober you up from the Christmas spirit overload and still get you buzzed. Well, that sounds interesting. So, <laughs> of course it's got scotch in it. Ugh, I don't know. But I thought it would be fun. We're planning on doing Vlogmas, so which means probably a lot of Christmas videos. And I thought it would be fun, one of the videos, maybe to do a cocktail out of the book. So we'll see how that turns out. I think that's about it for all the goodies that I have today, exciting stuff coming up. And I would love it if you would join me. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to be notified um, when I have new videos that come out. If you are Christmas, fanatic like I am, please join us. We'd love to have you. Um, but until the next video, I hope you all have a good one. And if you want to see if Christmas is like, you're not ready for that yet and you haven't checked out the Halloween video, please check that out. There is that available. There's also some fall um, pumpkin bars that I made in another video. Check those out. Who knows what the future is going to hold, um, but I can assure you that there's going to be a lot of Christmas coming up. So get out your hot cocoa mugs and your 
crazy Christmas sweaters. Get ready to curl up and go on an adventure. And we'll talk to you very soon, okay? You guys all take care.